everybody it's thrifty tina b and welcome back to my channel i'd like to thank you for tuning in uh also welcome to any people that are new to my channel um if you like what you see and want to come back and see more please like and subscribe down below and uh today i have a nice large um garage sale thrift store haul for you and so let's get into this because it's kind of big and we need to get going <laughs> all right i'm going to start over here because i have stuff all around me <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me frog in my throat first thing i got at a thrift store and this was in lancaster ohio i think it was called friendly neighbor thrift is this and i have been looking for one of these not for use as a cheese plate or whatever it is but to put some kind of decor inside and cover it with the dome i plan on whitewashing the the wood possibly I, i'm not sure yet but i uh it was on sale for 250 and it was 70 percent off that day so half off was Half would be what a dollar twenty-five, so seventy-five. So I got it for about a dollar or less. <laughs> I'm not good with math, I confess. So I grabbed that because I can use it. Set this down. Next thing I saw, and this takes me back to my childhood because I just love these things is this and I hope I can get this all in and this is one of those paper dolls big sister stand up doll and clothes and there's the back and I am going to frame this somehow put this in a frame with her clothes and stuff but I think that's very vintage and retro and I'm going to love playing with that as far as trying to find a place for it. And it was originally marked $5. Hopefully I can show you that. Sorry about the glare. But it was, uh, let's see, half was $2.50. So a little less than half would be a dollar something. So, and it was also 70% uh, off. Um, don't have these sorted in exactly where I got them. It, uh, so I'll just tell you as I go along because unfortunately there's a lot and I, I, I want to try and move fast so this isn't a super long video. Okay, at a garage sale this weekend, I found this. And it's a chalkboard. Hangs on a nice jute rope. And I really, I don't necessarily like this pattern on here, so I'll probably paint it, but um, I want to use it for around maybe Christmas time or something, just decorate it so that I can write different sayings and stuff on here. So that's probably going to be used at Christmas time, and this was a dollar. Set that down. All right, now I'm going to go over to this side <laughs> so I can clear out and make room for myself. At another garage sale, and this one was an estate sale, I picked up this cute vintage lamp. And I, if you'll pardon me for a second, I'm going to take this shade off here because I really don't like the shade. I'll be finding another shade for that. But this is a cute little vintage table lamp I paid two dollars and I hope the colors are coming off but it's it's really beautiful it's like a a pearlized pink and then it's got the blue birds and white flowers and everything and I'm going to set that on my um, coffee bar for a little bit of light in the evening so I don't have to have the kitchen lights on soon as I find the perfect 
shade for it. Let me set this down here. Pardon me for bending out of frame. <laughs> All right. The shade is cute, if you can see the shade. But I don't know. I think it covers too much of the lamp. I think I want something just slightly shorter so that the lamp itself shows and doesn't cover up the beauty of it. Alright. At that same estate sale, I found these two cute things. Look at these. Are these not cute? And I believe they're candle holders. And I cannot make this out, but it looks like Owl's Company or something. Hope that reads good for you guys. But they're, they look like candle holders. They have like a little place where you insert, but the candles would be at an, kind of an odd angle, I think. So I'm not really sure if they're candle holders or not. But I paid a dollar for the set. And I thought those would look cute sitting somewhere on a shelf. Okay, at that same estate sale, I found these for my sister Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, these are heading your way. These are vintage Tupperware. It says, I don't know if I can get that to show or not. It says Tupperware. And there was two sets. There's a larger set and a slightly smaller set in the same matching colors. And I paid a buck a piece. Well, not for each glass. I mean, a buck for this and a dollar for this. Because she was wanting some vintage -y style glasses. So, And I saw these and I remember drinking out of these when I was a kid. So, pick those up for her. <clears throat> and then one more thing from that estate sale was this cute little bird. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? And he's just a, one of those fat little birds. But I loved him and I'm going to set him on a shelf somewhere. He'll go good with my French country style. Sitting on a shelf somewhere or on a book or something. And I paid a dollar for him. Okay. Then at the next garage sale. and Oh, wait a minute. I forgot one thing from that estate sale. Oh. Also at that estate sale, I picked up these. And they are four Santa Christmas mugs. And I paid three dollars for, oh no, sorry, two dollars for them. And they are still in the package, still nice, really pretty. And I thought, oh, I can use those on my coffee bar when I set up my hot chocolate bar around Christmas time. Those will be real cute sitting out there. So I picked those up. Uh, and I'm running out of room as to where to set this stuff, so bear with me. All right. Oh, goodness. I guess I did forget a couple things. That, this is the last thing I got. No, there's one more thing. No, this is the last thing I got from that estate sale. And it's just, a, it's not vintage or anything. It's just a cute decorative trunk. It's kind of got a alligator or crackled pattern on it with the grapes and everything and it's in really nice shape and it opens up and I thought that would be neat to set on the floor somewhere and, and um, maybe set some stuff in it or something but and I got that and I paid where'd my little sticker go <laughs> my sticker must have fell off but I paid three dollars for this and so that's going to go in my decor somewhere whoops oh and I'm sorry I'm bending out of frame so much okay 
Then at another garage sale, I found this white shelf. And it just needs a little cleaning up. And probably put a fresh coat of paint on it. And then distress it a little bit. And then I'm going to hang that up in my living room. See, maybe the little birdie will sit somewhere on it or something, you know. I think that's just adorable. But it'll go with the French country look that I'm trying to go for. And I paid a dollar for this shelf. And let me set that down. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Then at the next garage sale I went to, let me move my coffee out of the way. I'm enjoying my coffee, ladies. <clears throat> I'm going to get these up here. Walked up to this garage sale and I saw these purses hanging there. And you know I'm going to check out the purses. And I thought, those look like vintage coach. Yeah. Oh, she's going to want too much for them. But I went over and looked at them anyway. And I was shocked. You know how when you walk up and you see something you really want and you're thinking, oh, they're going to charge an arm and a leg. Two dollars. I got three vintage coach purses. Two dollars a piece. And this one, they all still have their little hang tag on them. They're in really nice shape. The leather is super soft. There's hardly any wear on the edges, as you can see. This one's like a messenger bag style. And it's just, it's clean. They're, they're just in wonderful shape. And there's this one. Hook that back there. And then there's this one. This one needs a little bit of reshaping, I think. But it's a beautiful dark, I think it's, um, it's coming off brown on camera, but I believe it's black. Paid $2 for it. And it opens up this way. And it's still so nice and clean on the inside. Got the nice Coach Creed. I wish I could show it to you, but in these older ones, they're not really on a flap. They're just kind of imprinted into the back of the, but it's nice and clean. Of course, the hardware is a little rough for wear, but for $2 a bag, Vintage Coach, heck yes, I'm going to pick that up. I'll probably relist, clean these up and relist them in my Macari store. <clears throat> and then there's this one. And it is also in excellent shape. And it's got the nice compartments. And this one is a dark brown. It's got the pocket in the back. It's still got its shoulder strap. It's still got its hang tag. And I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to get those. Clean them up and list them in my Macari. So... And then I was over looking at the table at this same garage sale, and she had this laying there for a dollar. It's a very nice coach wallet. Very clean on the inside. Got the little coach emblem down there. Got the little pocket here. Oops, let me snap this back up. zipper compartment here but it's very pretty it's a, like a cream color very soft for a dollar so I grabbed that at the next garage sale I went to and this was a community one uh, and I hope I can get this into frame I'm gonna move this out of the way so it's not in the way I spotted this hanging there and uh, I've been looking for a lovely, now this isn't real fur, it's faux fur, and it comes with a hood, and look at the color on that, 
Isn't that beautiful? And the inside is in perfect shape. And it is from Coldwater Creek. Hope I can show you that. Coldwater Creek. It's a petite large. It's got these really beautiful buttons on it. And this fits like a glove. It's so soft. <laughs> I'm in love with this coat. Um, so I'm kind of excited for winter to come now because I have this gorgeous faux fur coat to wear this winter. I'm so excited. Oh, and I paid $10 for this. Well worth it in my book. It's gorgeous. And then I, I, she had this laying on a table and I was picked it up and was looking at it. And I'm hoping I can show this really good on this camera. Let me see if it'll focus. There. Kind of. There we go. That's one side. And this is a coat check tag. Let me show you the other side. Let's see if I can get that to show good. There it is. <laughs> and it is from... The Red Door Saloon in Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> and she took this coat check tag and put it on a, a rope and made it into a necklace. Which I thought was a neat idea. But I think I'm just going to hang it from a hook somewhere in the room to use as decor. Because that's really cool. You don't see these coat check tags anymore. So, uh, and it was, it says $3 on this side all night. <laughs> and I just, I loved it. I don't even know if the Red Door Saloon still exists there or not, but that's a really neat coat check tag. So I'm just going to hang it from a hook for decor. And I love it. Oh, and she gave this to me free <laughs> for buying the coat. So I thought that was very sweet of her. At another garage sale, and I'm only going to show you one, but I picked up two of these. These are um, chalkboard easels, and as you can see, the lady had written on them, but this will wash off quite easily. There was two of them, two dollars for both of them, and so I grabbed them both because I, I grabbed one for my sister Tanya as well. And I'm going to clean that up. And set that on my counter and just change it with the seasons I think that'll be and maybe decorate it up a little bit for the seasons and set that on my kitchen counter I think that'll look really cute so I got two of those for two dollars <throat> all right we're going to now switch over let me move this stuff out of the way And I must have been on a Christmas thing this weekend because I found lots of Christmas stuff. It just a must. It just must have been the the theme of the weekend, I guess, <laughs> because I found a lot. And I'm going to start with this, and this was at a garage sale, and I saw this sitting on the table, and yes. 50 cents is what I paid for it. Isn't this cute? This is a vintage. Still in the box. 11 inch, 11 light flashing Christmas tree top. And I don't know if it's from the 50s or 60s, but it is so pretty and it still works. Because I asked the gentleman who was selling it. And he said, oh, you should have been here sooner. And I said, why was that? And he said, well, I had a bunch of old Christmas bulbs I was getting rid of, too. But somebody came by and bought them all. And I was like, oh, man, five minutes sooner. And I would have gotten vintage Christmas bulbs to go with this. But this is going to go on the top of my tree this year. So I had to get that. I'm going to set that there for a second. Because we're going to continue on. Let me grab this bag. Now this is um, stuff 
that I thrifted at the Goodwill this past week. Oops, I dropped one. Pardon me while I bend down out of frame. And I'm going to show them to you. The first are these two. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Sorry. I have to put the matching ones together. These are really cute. And they're going to go hanging in my decor somewhere for Christmas. Got these at the Goodwill. $4.99 cents a piece. This one has just a little bit of dirt or something on there. So I'm going to try and get that, get that out. But they're in excellent shape. And I think those will look really cute hanging somewhere in my house for Christmas. And then I came across these two. And I hope these will come off on camera. But it's like a burlap up here with the snowflakes, gold snowflakes. And then like a almost a quilted pattern on the boot part. And one green, one red. Well, one red, one green. <laughs> Get your colors right, Tina. And these were also 99 cents a piece. And I'm doing the traditional Christmas colors, you know, red, green, all that. So, these are going to go on the fireplace this year. I think they'll be very pretty hanging there. <clears throat> and then, uh, also at that one estate sale, I can't show it because I've already put it downstairs for now until it's Christmas time, but I got a little three-foot a multicolored light Christmas tree with it's got some decorations on it but it needs rearranged and I got that for three dollars and so at this garage sale I discovered this no it wasn't a garage sale Tina it was the Goodwill store I discovered these and these are little glass bulbs and a tree topper and they'll go perfect on that three foot tree I just bought garage sale and I paid 99 cents for them I can show you that right there and they're just 15 glass ornaments I don't think they're vintage or anything but they look vintagey enough that they will look really cute on that tree and I got that little tree to set in my kitchen here on my buffet so I can have a little tree in the kitchen and a tree in the living room so, I had to pick up those. Okay. And I have to unwrap this item. Like I said, Christmas. I was on a roll for Christmas. Look at him. Isn't he adorable? It's a little tea light snowman. And he's holding a lantern and a little stocking. And he's in like a pearlized finish. And he's just beautiful. And I paid $1.99 for him. Let's see if that'll focus. I don't know if it will because of the type of glaze that's on it. But that's $1.99. And I thought he was just too cute to pass up. So let me put him back in there. Okay, onward and upward, right? <laughs> All right. Next thing I found were these two Christmas plates. <laughs> Aren't they cute? And I can use them somewhere in my Christmas theme. I just thought they were too cute to pass up. And they were 99 cents a piece. Goodness, he's stuck. Okay. All right. Now, these three things are also. Oh, let me get this bag up here. Maybe I can get it better. I'm going to set him in front of you so you can see part of him. Okay. All right. These were gotten at the, um, and let me adjust his horns. 
There we go. I'm not sure if I'm doing that right, but his horns need adjusting. Oh well. This is a giant flocked reindeer. <laughs> and I got that at that estate sale that I was telling you about early, earlier. And he was just 50 cents. So I picked him up. Uh, he's very neat. He's flocked and he's... I'll use him in my decor somewhere. And then here's the baby one. There was no mommy, so I'll have to kind of hunt around and see if I can find the mama. He was a quarter. I also got this Santa kneeling over baby Jesus. And I hope I can show that good. And I paid 50 cents for him. And it was made in 1988. It's called the Kneeling Santa. And I just thought that's so pretty. I had to put that somewhere. And then I picked up these two little things for a dollar a piece. And one is just a little manger scene. It can be like an ornament or whatever. And the other is just a decorated Christmas tree. And I got these because my purpose, and I'll show you, is once I get this done, maybe, you know, just to decorate it up for Christmas, you know, the tree's going to be too tall. But maybe the Santa won't be. Let's see. Let's see if Santa fits in there. Nope. He's too tall, too. But like the manger scene, and do a couple of things around it and set it in there you know, decorate it up for Christmas is what I'm going for. So, hopefully it turns out right. <laughs> Set that back over there. And then I also picked up this Christmas pickle. <laughs> and the reason I picked that up is my husband's side of the family is part German. And they have the Christmas pickle tradition. So I had to grab that, and if you're not familiar with the Christmas pickle tradition, uh, it's you hide the Christmas pickle on the Christmas tree, and the first one that finds it, you hide it somewhere inside, deep inside the tree. And the first one to find it uh, on Christmas Day gets a special um, blessing, and then they get to be the first person to take a present from under the tree. So I had to get that as a little nod to my husband for his heritage. Okay. Let's continue on, shall we? Dig into my bag of goodies. Okay. Once again, we are at the thrift store. <laughs> I found these placemats. And I hope I can show these to you good. They say Merry Christmas and have all kinds of Christmassy themes. So I got those. They were, um, I believe, 50 cents a piece. So I got those to set out on my table for Christmas. Okay, this one, yes, this one I'm going to have to be careful with. Ooh, what's in the bag? <laughs> I got this from the Goodwill. I'm gonna bring him out and look at that isn't that cute look at the top of that it's a little mouse Christmas thing and he's got he's got a little bell on his tail and it's just so cute and then it, the inside whoever had it before put a little um, one of those battery operated tea lights and I'm just gonna take that out and put in a slightly bigger battery operated candle and that's going to look really cute sitting out for Christmas and I paid $2.99 for him period oh I don't know if that's going to focus focus for me there you go but I, I just had to get that that is just too cute <laughs> so yeah I picked that up like I said, Christmas was either on my brain or just 
the theme of the week or whatever, I do not know, but I was finding Christmas all over the place. Set that down. So I don't break it. And then I believe we are near the end of our haul. Okay. We're doing good, ladies. We're doing good. All right. Um, I've been wanting... I love Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas. And, um, you know, I love my vintage records. And I found this on Mikari for five bucks. And I couldn't believe it. And I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> it's Bing Crosby's Merry Christmas. I think they're 78s, I guess is what they're called. But it's also got White Christmas on there. It's Bing Crosby singing all the old Christmas songs. And I was excited about this. So, yeah, I grabbed that real quick for five bucks. And I cannot wait to play these on my record player at Christmas time. Yes, I love that old crackle and pop that records made back in the day. And this is it's just... If you haven't listened to um, an album or a, a vinyl record or a 78 or a 33 or get a record player and listen to them. I mean, you just, it takes you back. So I had to get that. Five bucks. And then ladies, we all know everybody's going crazy over those little red trucks. That they set out at Christmas time and decorate up with little trees and everything. And I found this truck on eBay for four dollars. <laughs> and this is going to be my little Christmas truck. Yes, it says Veterans Truck Line Incorporated, but I don't care. It looks vintage, and it's the right size. And I'm going to put some of those little bottle brush trees back here and. Maybe put a little snow on the fenders and stuff. This is going to look cute in my Christmas decor come Christmas time. And I got that for $4 plus shipping from eBay. Okay. I think we have reached the end. Well, no, maybe not. Hold on. One more thing. I got this great big at a garage sale. I bought two of those great big faux uh, red poinsettias, uh, you know, in a pot. And I got two of those, and they were in beautiful condition. I paid a dollar a piece for them. They're going to go on either side of my fireplace. And then she also had this bag of um, their, let me see if I can grab one out. Point set of picks. There's a whole bag of them in here, and there's some pine cones. A dollar for the entire bag. So I grabbed that because I'm going to decorate the heck out of my house for Christmas this year. I've been a little lazy in the past years, but I've been watching a lot of Christmas home decor tours uh, from 2018 and 20, not 2018, sorry. 2017 and 2016 on YouTube and they have just inspired me to get back into decorating my house for Christmas time and hopefully once I get it done and everything I will do a little tour for you guys and let you see how I decorated for Christmas this year also uh, once I'm very very close keep your fingers crossed I'm very close to getting my living room done I just received my chalk paint and chalk painting kit for doing my furniture the way I want. Um, so once I am done and got that entirely set up, I'll do a little film on that so y'all can see what I did and tell you a little bit about how I did it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, also coming out on Saturday will be my Pumpkin Palooza. Um, 2018 DIY challenge uh, collab with Annie Cuckoo. So stay tuned for that. It'll be coming out Saturday. 
Uh, and uh, I think that covers it all. Oh my goodness, I've gone 33 minutes. I've got to stop. Anyways, thank you very much for tuning in and sticking around to the end. Uh, once again, please like and subscribe. YouTube likes it when you hit that like button. I don't know why, but it's something with their algorithm. I don't know because <laughs> I'm very new to this. But please leave a like down below. If you saw anything you liked or you found some interesting stuff, leave me a little comment below. Tell me about it. I love hearing about that stuff. Uh, if you have any YouTubers you'd like to recommend that I see, leave the comment down below. I'll take a peek. Uh, and uh, as always, thank you. And please like and subscribe. Come back and see me again. And I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy thrifting, peoples. Bye-bye.